Hello boys and girls. On Monday and Tuesday, we looked a wee bit at bar graphs. On Monday, we looked at the bar graph that showed us all the information about year two's favourite song that they chose. And then on Tuesday, we also did the parrot bar graph that looked like that one up there. We also chatted about how in numeracy, we don't like writing lots and lots of sentences. We prefer using signs and symbols and pictures, things that are a lot easier to interpret for most people or easier to understand. So that's why in numeracy we tend to use graphs like the ones that we've used and also tables. You've maybe seen a table before. Well, today we're going to be learning about a different type of graph. And this type of graph is called a pictograph. OK, and the reason why it's called a pictograph is because this graph uses a lot of pictures. So this is a pictograph that I've printed off of the Internet here. And this one was about favourite fruit. So instead of just simply colouring in, this graph, as I say, uses pictures and the people have drawn a banana for each time that somebody chose a banana. They have drawn grapes for each time somebody chose grapes as their favourite. And they've also drawn apples for each time somebody's chosen an apple. And at the very end, if you can see it, they have drawn three pears. Okay, it's going to be about ice cream because it's coming up to summer and we all love talking about ice cream. So before we get started, I want you to get your numeracy jotter. And I want you to write the date at the top. And if you've got room, you can also write that we are learning to draw a pictograph. OK, after that, you can get a ruler, but don't worry too much if your lines aren't too straight. OK, but I have just I've drawn a line down to the bottom here, you can see, and then a lovely line across. OK, so it kind of looks like a large capital L. Okay, and once you've done that, give your pictograph a title just so that people know what this graph actually means. There's no point having lots of pictures and people think, what does that mean? Okay, so we're going to write year two's favourite ice cream. Okay, and then at the bottom, you're going to write the different types of ice cream, okay, that they have the choice from. So we've got mint, so I've written mint at the bottom already. And then we've got honeycomb or pooper, or whatever you want to call that one. And then chocolate and vanilla, okay. If you can't see those too clearly, ask for a little bit of help from a growing up at home, okay. So the way that we're going to do this is because I don't really know what everybody's favourite ice cream is, I've written a special year two story. And this year two story is about year two going to the ice cream shop, going to Maud's. OK, and I'm going to give you some information in this story. And as I go along, I want you to add the information to your pictograph. OK, so what will happen is I'm going to give you a little example. I might say that. I went to the ice cream shop and these were the choices that I was given in flavours and I chose honeycomb. So what I would do is, because remember pictograph is all about drawing pictures, I'm going to draw a little smiley face above honeycomb because I chose honeycomb. And then maybe I would say that maybe Mrs Park, she went to Maud's and she, she didn't like honeycomb. She chose vanilla. So then I would go over here and choose vanilla. And just on top of vanilla, I would draw another smiley face. Okay, so we're going to be drawing smiley faces for each time that you find out what flavour of ice cream they chose. Okay, so you don't need to do those two, but that was just to, to give you a little example. Okay, and if at any time I'm going a little bit too fast, don't be scared to pause the video and play it again. I'm going to read you a story about going to the ice cream shop. As I go along, I want you to fill in the information on your pictograph. OK, and we are going to be drawing a smiley face for each one. OK, remember in the other pictograph we saw bits of fruit, but we're just going to draw smiley faces to show that it represents a person and their choice. OK. 
Okay, so just like I said, I'm going to read you a year or two story. Okay, and when you hear some information in the story about what flavour of ice cream that somebody has chosen, I want you to draw your smiley face above. If it was mint, you write it above mint. If it was honeycomb, you do it above honeycomb. Chocolate, a wee smiley face above chocolate. Or if it's vanilla, then a wee smiley face above vanilla. Okay, so here's the story and I'll help you with the first couple. So one day, some of year two went to get some ice cream at Maud's. The shopkeeper told the children, I'm really sorry, but we ran out. We've only got four ice cream flavours left. So here's the choices. You can either have chocolate, honeycomb, vanilla or mint. And the other thing is, because we're so low on ice cream, you can only have one scoop of ice cream each. So that was fine. Some children, they knew straight away what they wanted, but for some other children, they really had to think about which one was their favourite. Okay, so Abby, Abby went first. She really liked the look of the chocolate, chocolate flavour ice cream, so Abby chose that one. So for chocolate, so Abby chose chocolate, you're going to do your smiley face above chocolate. Then Harlow decided that vanilla was his favourite. So Harlow, we're going to put his smiley face above the vanilla one because he chose vanilla ice cream. Then Izzy and Cameron, they both said they wanted to taste a new flavour. So Izzy chose mint and Cameron chose honeycomb. So remember, Izzy's smiley face needs to go above the mint. Okay, and what did Cameron choose? Yeah, he chose honeycomb. So his smiley face is going to go above the honeycomb. Then Leighton and Darcy Esther both picked vanilla. Okay, so make sure that you draw two more above vanilla. Okay, because we had Leighton and Darcy Esther both choosing vanilla. So two more smiley faces above the vanilla. So up next in the queue, there was Casey, there was Leah and there was Jessica. They all chose the same. They all went for yummy chocolate. So three more chocolate. So you're going to have to do three more above the chocolate. So three more smiley faces. Then we had some chatterboxes in the queue. We had Elliot, we had Amar, Rory and Oliver. They had all been chatting about what their favourite was. And they all decided that they all wanted honeycomb. Okay, so Elliot, Amar, Rory and Oliver, four more for honeycomb. So you're going to put four more above the honeycomb. Oh dear, the chocolate flavour was definitely very popular. The shopkeeper panicked a wee bit because she thought, oh my goodness, is there going to be enough? Because then Daisy and Sack, they both asked for chocolate as well. So remember, two more on top of the chocolate. Then we had Lucy, James and Jasmine. They all couldn't make up their mind. They really loved all the ice cream flavours and they thought, oh goodness, which one am I going to choose? But they all decided that they would like the mint ice cream. So three more on top of the mint. Okay, now for a little bit of a challenge to this story. So listen really carefully. So I wonder how would you put this onto your pictograph? Okay, so listen really carefully to this bit. Miss Bannister said, this is what Miss Bannister said, she has two favourite flavours of ice cream and she just couldn't decide. But all you lot, all the page who said, Miss Bannister, are you silly? You're only allowed one scoop of ice cream because that's what the shopkeeper said. But then Miss Bannister, she had a better idea. She thought that she would go half and half. That she would ask them to fill one ice cream scoop with half chocolate and half honeycomb. How sneaky was that of Miss Bannister? So how would you put that onto your pictograph? For half honeycomb and half chocolate, I wonder. Okay, so boys and girls, this is how your pictograph should look at the moment. So what I want you to do next is I want you to count up 
all the smiley faces for each and tell me what the total is for mint, what the total is for honeycomb, chocolate and vanilla and you can record those just on top of the smiley faces as well. Then discuss with a growing up at home, which one was most popular? What was your two's favourite ice cream? Okay, so see which one has the, the most amount of smiley faces and which one was the least favourite or the least popular? Okay, that's your numeracy work for today completed. I hope that you enjoyed doing something a wee bit different, boys and girls, and I'll speak to you again soon.